Coach, you have said on this program in the last week several times the best basketball decision to win a championship was for Carmelo Anthony to go to Chicago. Either he wasn't listening or he's chasing the money, of which the Knicks could <laughs> offer him much more than Chicago could. So what's your reaction now that this appears to be a done deal? I think it's a great. I think it's a great win for Phil Jackson and, and and Coach Fisher. I mean, they had to get this. They had to get Carmelo into the fold and then start building the team. Uh, I still don't think they're they're going to probably be a playoff team, but I think it'll be the low end of the the sec the, the sector of uh, playoffs at sixth, seventh, eighth seed probably. And they're going to have constant controversy with Stoudemire and Baryani's contracts always being out there to be traded and moved on. So I think it's going to be an interesting, growing year for the New York Knicks. Uh, I think it's probably going to be better than this year because this year is filled with negativity, chaos, firing a coach, uh, you know, just a lot of nightmares, a lot of nightmares and a lot of drama. And I think Phil Jackson and, and Coach Fisher have gotten them into a position. Now the signing of Mello will help them get this karma going in a good direction. They've added some good pieces. Calderon's a good piece. I think uh, Down Bear is a good piece, and I think they got to now, now figure out their roster the rest of the summer and go to go to battle. I, I don't think next year is going to be their year that they're going to replenish the Nick image or the Nick uh, tradition, but I think it's a good start by getting Melo in the fold. Let's talk about their head coach, uh, Coach. Let's talk about the fact that the joke is the best point guard on their roster is actually their head coach in Derek Fisher, and their best coach is actually their team president, Phil Jackson. How is this brain trust well equipped to handle and build around a guy like Carmelo Anthony? Well, I'm, I think it's yet to be determined. You know, you got Phil Jackson, who I think is a genius of a basketball mind as a coach, but can he transfer himself to the front office and be able to, to deal with the finances and the business world of the NBA and the league office, the referees? Also, there's a lot of nightmares that he's not dealt with in his position and Derek Fisher is a young I think talented very bright uh great pedigree uh great great history I think he's a leader I think he communicates at a high level but it's going to I still think you know all those things there's a there's a growing curve for head coaches it's a lot like young players that you know they don't step in there and very few can become superstars in their first year or two and I think coaches got to go through some growing pains. And I think Derek Fisher does not have a talented enough team to dodge some uh, dodge some minefields along the way. Some things are going to happen that are going to be very difficult to handle.